So the person that was basically in, in charge of the torture of Chelsea Manning, the, you know, courageous whistleblower that, you know, provided the information about all the fucked up, illegal, disgusting things U.S. government and army was doing to uh, WikiLeaks person who oversaw her, uh, you know, solitary confinement, it's a form of torture, uh, is running for Congress as, as a Democrat. <laughs> Democratic candidate James Averhart personally oversaw solitary confinement of Chelsea Manning. Chelsea Manning, like that, that is a true patriot. Uh, we owe her such a debt of gratitude for the personal price that she paid for helping expose the crimes of the U.S. government, same for Edward Snowden, same for Julian Assange, same for all whistleblowers, the ones that were also persecuted under the Obama administration. Alabama congressional candidate James Averhart led a campaign to punish soldiers who deserted the Vietnam War and personally oversaw the brutal imprisonment of whistleblower Chelsea Matt I mean, it's just like disgusting. I hope the person who is running against Averhart like points out how disgusting that is. I mean, for 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 goodness sake, the man responsible for some of the most inhumane punishment of whistleblower Chelsea Manning stands a good chance of becoming a Democratic congressional candidate on July fourteenth. Democrats. So what's that next next week? I think today's the ninth. Democrats in Alabama's 1st District will go back to the polls to choose from one of two candidates. In the March primary, James Averhart finished less than 2,000 votes behind leader Keanu Gardner, Keanu Gardner forcing a runoff. A 30-year military veteran, Averhart began as a Marine infantryman in 1987 before transferring to the military police and becoming a corrections officer. Between 2010 and 2011, he was in charge of the military brig at Quantico, Virginia, where Manning was held in 22 counts of leaking classified information to WikiLeaks. During her time at Quantico, Manning was held in solitary confinement, a practice roundly condemned by human rights groups. Yes, yes, I mean, you're locked in a cell, no windows, nothing. Manning was locked in one of those 24 hours a day. United Nations, and almost universally described as a form of torture, as it should be. In her testaments and complaints, Manning singled out Averhart as a particularly sadistic torturer, claiming that he entered her cell and yelled at her and declared that he was her god, implying he had total control of, over her life. Averhart repeatedly rejected psychiatrists' constant recommendations that Manning should not be held in solitary in an 8 by 6 foot cell around the clock. I mean, God damn. According to Manning's complaint on, G on uh, 18th of January 2011, over the recommendations of Captain Hawker and the defense forensic psychiatrist Captain Moore, CW04 Averhart placed me on suicide risk. The suicide risk assigned assignment resulted in me being re required to remain in my cell for 24 hours a day. I was stripped of all clothing with the exception of my underwear. My prescription eyeglasses were taken away from me, and I was forced to sent, forced to sit in essential blindness for 24 hours a day. This sadistic Averhart. Now I was running for Congress as a Democrat. I mean that part. I guess shouldn't be that that surprising. I mean, look what Obama did. You know, to all these persecuting all these whistleblowers. He was also. Um, you know, a, a Democrat as well. On the matter, Amnesty International wrote to uh, Defense Secretary Robert Gates expressing their dismay that Manning was being locked locked up in a windowless box and shackled during visits, claiming that her treatment resulted uh, violated both domestic U.S. and United Nations laws and the minimum standards of prisoner warfare. The Marine Corps' Chief of Corrections would later testify that Abraham Averhart wrongly kept Manning on suicide watch, meaning she was disturbed every five, I mean, every five minutes. That, jeez, I mean, just think about that. You're locked in a six, six by eight foot cell, 24 hours a day, 
and complete blindness and you're getting disturbed every five minutes. I mean, that is a form of torture. It's psychological warfare. It's disgusting. All this was for the pre-child detention of a suspect that should have been presumed innocent until proven guilty. Averhart had previously led a task force dedicated to... I mean, this just really shows how messed up this person is. I mean, had previously led a task force dedicated to finding and arresting Vietnam War veterans who refused to, who refused to fight. Really? Another fucking shitty war the United States should have never been a part of. Kudos to all the people that, that deserted. If I was back then and had been drafted, I, I would have done the same thing or tried to flee to Canada or something. It's like ridiculous. <clears throat> As The Guardian wrote in 2006, since he took over the Marine Corps' absentee collection center in 24, uh, 2004, Chief Warrant Officer James Averhart has reopened cold cases of claims to have tracked down 33 deserters. Jesus. One 65-year-old Floridian was held in jail for five months for a, a desertion that occurred 40 years ago. This zealous persecution, according to writer Andrew Perez, who first covered the Averhart story, was an attempt to discourage any modern-day deserters from the Iraq War, another disgusting illegal war <clears throat> the U.S. Uh, should have never been involved in, obviously. Despite uh, his history, the former soldier presents him, and then look how he's trying to reform his image, presents himself as a civil libertarian. His campaign website, uh, putting his campaign website, putting civil rights and criminal justice at the forefront of his message. Averhart believes that all people have a right to participate in our government and our society without fear, oppression, or discrimination. I think Chelsea Manning would tend to disagree vehemently with that, as well as those, Jesus, those Vietnam War deserters you were fucking targeting for persecution 40 years after the fact. I mean, it reads, promising to preserve and expand protection for all Americans and fight for end-to-end -end criminal justice. Oh, man. And here we go. So this is, again, why... Chelsea Manning was targeted uh, because she exposed the crimes of the U.S. Empire. The most consequential of Manning's leaks was the infamous collateral murder video, which, I mean, I, I saw it again the other day, I think in relation to uh, Julian Assange, because WikiLeaks published it, and it's just it's so disgusting, so disgusting, and just messed up on every level which showed U.S. military personnel carrying out a massacre of civilians, including two Reuters journalists, in cold blood, laughing at the carnage they were creating. Neither the military units who carried out the atrocity nor their superiors faced any consequences, unlike Manning, who was persecuted for sharing the tape and labeled an ungrateful traitor by Donald Trump. She was sentenced to 35 years in prison, uh, although that was later commuted by President Obama. In 2018, she unsuccessfully ran for the Senate, challenging the incumbent Ben Cardin. Since then, she has faced constant harassment and, in jail and was jailed again for refusing to testify against WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange. I mean, that is how twisted and messed up the U.S. government is. So Manning, having a conscience, you know, has access to this collateral video a collateral murder video where again people are murdered in cold blood including two journalists they were laughing those those people who murdered those people in cold blood faced no repercussions for that but Chelsea Manning uh you know exposing the crimes of the US empire the the state came down on her you know very harshly as we see it's disgusting <clears throat> the runoff election on July 14th is sure to be a hard-fought race given the close outcome in March. Averhart's opponent, uh, Kiana Gardner, a former research uh, scientist and biology professor from Hawaii who's been endorsed by uh, influential Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren. I don't know much about Gardner except what was said in this article, but I find it hard to believe that she could have a worse a more disgusting and disturbing backstory than Averhart. <laughs> so let's hope Gardner <laughs> beats Averhart because 
it's I mean we don't need any more lunatics like Averhart in Congress. We already we already have enough.